Hey guys, I'm Lana Lex. I'm a game developer and I'm a Linode developer advocate. Today we're going to be looking at how to set up a Minecraft server using Linode. You may have also come across a lot of tutorials on setting up a Minecraft server and they're complex and not very straightforward, but luckily Linode offers a really great easy solution to set it up. It's inexpensive and we're going to be having a Minecraft server set up and ready to go by the end of this video. If you haven't already signed up for Linode, then you can get $100 credit by signing up with the link in the description. So check that out and make sure you grab that. Once you're signed up and you have an account, go ahead and log in. I already have an account, so I can just press log in. I already have my test Minecraft server ready and running, but we're going to do a new one together. So with this approach, the first thing we're going to do is create a Cloudron. Um, we're going to go over kind of quickly, but we do have a separate video that you can check out if you want to go into more detail on setting up a Cloudron. So the first thing we're going to do is go over to Marketplace, where we're going to find, scroll down the list, not that far, right here, Cloudron. Click on that. That's going to set us up down here for the things we need to fill in, like selecting an image. We're going to go with Ubuntu 20.04 LTS. We can select a region. The closest one to me would be Toronto, Ontario, but you select whatever is closest to you. Next, we need to pick a Linode plan. So make sure you pick, go to shared CPU, make sure you pick Linode 2 gigabytes because the Minecraft server, I believe, is 1.25. So this one isn't actually going to cut it. You're going to want to click the second one down here. Then you can create a tag. We don't actually need that tag. We can create a label for our Linode. I'm going to call this one Margaret. And we set a password. Mine's already in there. You set one that you're going to remember. Once that's all set up, go ahead and create Linode. So that's going to take a minute to set up. It will give you a status update here in the status here. That is in the status bar. Checks out. So now that this is setting up, you're going to get these updates. Oh, mine's already running. So that didn't take very long. Um, just give it a few minutes. You know, you'll see it saying like booting, setting up, running. Once it's running, you're good to go to the next step. You're going to want to copy your IP address here and put it into your next uh, tab. Just wait a little bit longer. Try refreshing. Uh, after a little bit, it should be ready. If it's taking a little while and you want to see what's going on, you can click on Launch Lish Console. And by doing that, I can now see that it's installing base dependencies and downloading Docker images. It takes some time. So I do need to be more patient and then I can check back after. Once your Lish Console looks like this or your website looks like this, you are ready for the next step. But it's going to say your connection is not private click on advance and proceed to the next page. And then we will see this. Normally you want to be careful, but we know what we're doing so we can keep going. You will need a domain for this. I already have one set up on a separate platform and it is, this is gamedev.com. And I've already set that up on Linode, which again is in the other video. Um, so I can go ahead and select Linode because it's set up there. I need the API token and I can get that by going back over to Linode, clicking on my settings, API tokens, and I have a bunch set up, but the one I'm going to use, you know what? Let's set up a new one. Create a personal access token domains. We want to have read and write. We're going to call this Margaret since that's the name of our Cloudron and it doesn't need to expire. So we can go ahead and create that. I can copy this over, paste it in here. And voila, we're adding our domain. So this will take a minute to set up. We can just make ourselves cozy and wait for this to go through. Oh look, an email saying that I set up my Linode. How nice. ready. 
go. Now we can go ahead and put in our info for our admin account, put in our name, our email, username, and our password. We can click on create admin. It's ready to use, proceed to dashboard, and no apps are installed yet. So let's go over to the app store and I can sign in with the information I just had. And accept the cloud run license, create account. And here we go. Here's all the apps that we can install. We're going to look for Minecraft server, multiplayer server for Minecraft. Click install. And even though it doesn't look like it's doing anything, just wait on it. It will take a second to take effect and then it will start loading onto our cloud run. You know what? I changed my mind. If it's not doing anything, try refreshing. Install. There it is. Okay. There it is. That's better. Just try refreshing and clicking it again if it doesn't work. Okay. So it has a bunch of stuff set up for you. This is all good to go. All we need to do is choose the uh, subdomain that we want to have before our URL. I'm going to say Minecraft because that's what we're going to be using it for. Minecraft.thisisgamedev.com. So I can just leave everything else as is and install it. No, I can't because I actually already made one before. Minecraft server. And there it is. It just takes a few minutes to install and then we can go on to the next step. So now that the server says running, we can go ahead and click on it. And we have some information here we need to take into account. This app is set up to authenticate with the CloudRun user directory. CloudRun users can log in and use it immediately. If Archon port is enabled, the default password is change. Change me one, two, three, four. Please change the Archon password immediately by following this guide. Please see the Minecraft server, server documentation for helpful information and common topics on this app. If you need further help, refer to CloudRun's Minecraft forum section. Okay, so this pop-up gives us quite a bit of information and some references for us to change the password to something that's a little bit stronger, to learn how to use our Minecraft server, um, and some places where we can ask for help or learn things that people have been posting in the forums. So let's acknowledge those instructions and open the server. Now all we need to do is log in here. Don't look at my password. Okay, you can look now. Um, so I logged in and it immediately, it immediately went from stopped to running. Okay, so our Minecraft server is now here and running. Once you log in and you see that it's running, it will take some time to start showing things like starting Minecraft server, default game type survival, preparing start region. Um, if you can't connect right away, let it run, give it a little while and check back and eventually it will be set up and you should be able to connect. Just make sure to give it some time. Let's open Minecraft. Okay, let's click play. Make sure you have the latest release, by the way. The last time I did it, I had to upgrade. So make sure you're upgraded so you don't have to do that mid process. All right, it looks familiar. Now we can go ahead and set up our multiplayer server. We click on multiplayer. We click add server. I'm going to call this Margaret because that's what we called her cloud run. It's now officially our server's name. And if you remember earlier, I called mine Minecraft server. If I can spell it right, server dot. This is game dev dot com. And that's it. Click done. And I'll let it get set up. You can click on play so it connects. This might take a minute. And there it is. Now we have our very own Minecraft server. We can 
bring our friends over to play on with us. Make sure you change that password to keep it nice and safe and uh, you're ready to go. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that this was helpful getting you set up on your Minecraft server so that you can play with your friends. If you haven't signed up to Linode yet, don't forget that you can get $100 off on your account if you use the link below in this video. And we do more videos just like this. We'll be explaining how to set up other games, how to use different features on Linode. So don't forget to subscribe and check back for those videos. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.